In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the basics of using the portfolio constructor to create portfolios out of portfolio items that you've already created. So you'll see that I've got a bunch of portfolio items here. We've created these in a previous tutorial. So now when you open up the portfolio constructor by going to Agility Portfolio Constructor, when you first come to the portfolio constructor, you'll have a blank portfolio. So the first thing we want to do is give it a new name. So let's call it My Cool Portfolio. Anytime you change something in this interface, you'll see an alert that says Unsaved Changes. That alerts you that you should save anything that you don't want to lose before navigating away from this page. Now, by default, let's see, on the left, you'll see the portfolio parameters, and these this sets the parameters that any post needs to fulfill so that it will be included in this portfolio. So by default, nothing's selected, so you'll see all of our portfolio items listed on the right. Now, whenever we change something over here, you'll see the results on the right change to reflect those parameters. So, the most common way to do this is to choose the portfolio category. So anytime you create a portfolio item, you can create a portfolio category. So this one's in Stormtrooper shenanigans. So we can change, we can just select that category. And when it refreshes, you'll see that we have portfolio items only from the Stormtrooper shenanigans portfolio category. We can also change the number of posts per page. So if we have four posts per page, you'll only see the first four on the first page. You'll have to click next to go to the next page once we actually create the portfolio page. For unlimited posts, we set it to negative one. We can also change the order. There are a variety of additional advanced options that we'll cover a little bit later. So the simplest way to create a portfolio is just to create, select one of these categories, or you can select multiple categories, or you can select only items that are in both categories, or only items that are in none of the categories that you've selected. So let's just do the Stormtrooper shenanigans. So at this point, we'll save the portfolio. And now we're going to create a new page. Because a portfolio is a special type of page. It just uses a special template. So we'll go Pages, Add New. Uh, give it a title. And the most important thing is under Template, we have to choose Portfolio. So now we'll get these extra options here of portfolio settings. So let's make it a three column portfolio. We'll show the title for each portfolio item. We won't show the excerpt. We're going to use the portfolio that we just created called My Cool Portfolio. That's what we just created in the portfolio constructor. And for now, we're going to leave everything else as the default. We publish this, view the page. Now you can see, here's our three column portfolio. So we'll go through this in more depth in another more in depth in another tutorial, but let's just quickly show how you could change this to a two column portfolio. Refresh the page. Now we have two columns. Or you can come back to the constructor and make the posts per page two. Now when we refresh, we'll Sorry, I have to save the changes first. Now when we refresh, you see there's only two posts on every page, and if you want to see the next one, you move to the next page. So those are the basics of using the portfolio constructor and setting up a page, and I'll go through more of the details in, in two separate tutorials.